China is reportedly building a fourth aircraft carrier, making it the second largest carrier power behind the United States. A report in Hong Kong state media claims that there will be an announcement soon on a new flat top, along with the release of technical details. The fourth carrier may be China's first nuclear-powered surface ship, a major milestone in ship development and the key toward projecting Chinese military power abroad. A reporter for the state-owned Hong Kong Commercial Daily questioned Chinese Navy Vice Admiral and political commissar Yuan Huazi about whether or not China's next carrier would be nuclear-powered and what it would be named. Huazi reportedly smiled when asked if the carrier would use nuclear propulsion and said there would be an announcement soon. He also said there were no technical bottlenecks in the construction of new carriers, and that there are no delays. China has three aircraft carriers, Liaoning, Shandong, and Fujian. Each of China's preceding carriers reached new milestones, but even the latest fell short of the ultimate aircraft carrier technology, nuclear propulsion. Nuclear power gives aircraft carriers virtually unlimited range, allowing them to sail for thousands of miles and requiring only food and munitions be carried to conduct combat operations. As of 2024, only the United States and France have built nuclear-powered carriers. If China intends to match the U.S. Navy on a technological basis, nuclear carriers are a necessary eventuality. China will likely build several more carriers. Three or four carriers also does not mean that many are available at any given time. Aircraft carriers, like other warships, suffer from the tyranny of the three, for every one ship at sea, another has just returned from sea and a third is either in dry dock or preparing to sail. This effectively means that for every three carriers a country has, it can only guarantee one at sea at all times, with the occasional ability to surge two in case of emergencies. If China is resolute on matching the U.S. Navy, it must build as many nuclear-powered carriers as the U.S. Pacific Fleet operates. Considering China has yet to build a single nuclear-powered surface ship, Chinese shipyards will likely remain humming for the next 20 years.